So let's hear Dr. Sangeeta. Next, you. Uh, you are you're muted. You are muted. Unmute yourself. Uh, as Vanna rightly said, that on the occasion of the G20 summit, we are discussing here about the woman health. And that is a very right time and right opportunity to bring the problem onto the stage. And um, uh, uh, reproductive and sexual health care, including family planning uh, services, is the key intervention for improving women health. So what I will focus today that I will highlight some point on uh, uh, present day contraception and their need as far as women health is concerned, because uh, one thing is very clear that if you want to decline the maternal mortality, maternal mortality is always there when there is a pregnancy. So if there is no pregnancy, maternal mortality automatically declines. So out of three pregnancies, we can um, cut down to uh, one pregnancy if we are providing safe, uh, uh, good family planning care services to the uh, woman. And secondly, if the interval between the two pregnancies is less than 18 months, then the neonatal morbidity, it Come, um, it, if it is less than 18 months, then it four, increases three folds as compared when there the space between the two pregnancies more than 18 months. So it affects maternal as well as child health. Both are affected by the um, delivery. So we have to talk and we all the government hospitals as well as private hospitals, we have to come into picture as far as uh, active role and to play active role as far as contraception is concerned. So I will just present 10 or 15 slides about the um, uh, basics of uh, about this, sorry, um, contraception. Corrosion or increase in number of population is beneficial for India or uh, detrimental for, for India. But I will talk in uh, concern of the woman health that population, uh, we have to give safe contraceptive practices to the woman so that her life is um, uh, in a good condition and we all know that when we started india was the first country to start family planning uh, thing in our country and initially it was for population control but now from 2000 or uh, onwards it has become uh, the family planning is for the improvement in maternal and child health health so there is a great shift in the principle now, as Madam said, that if we talk about SDG and family planning related, then in um, goal number three, it is very clearly written that by 2030, we have to ensure universal access to sexual and reproductive health care services, including family planning services. So there is a big role of um, family planning services, uh, uh, services as far as women health is concerned. If we see the difference between FH, uh, NFHS 4 and NFHS 5, the survey which has been uh, uh, NFHS 5 was conducted in 2000 from 2019 to 2021. In 2020, it was stopped because of COVID. And if we see Delhi statistics, there is very, very much good improvement is there that 76.4 percent of women in reproductive age are using some type of uh, some some type of other method and 57 percent are using modern methods female sterilization it still contributes to 18 percent male sterilization this is the point which we have, we have to focus that involvement of male person in contraception here this is the way where we can increase, where we can do the betterment towards women health because once male use a contraceptive method, may it be temporary, may it be permanent, it is going to affect much lot on women health. As far as PPIUCD is concerned, there is a marginal rise. And as rightly said, that our <coughs> need all over, all over <coughs> India has uh, decreased from 13% to 9%. And as far as um, uh, Delhi is concerned, it has uh, decreased from 15% to 6.1%. And there are unmet needs of two types, that is for spacing and for limiting. So unmet need for uh, uh, limiting has um, uh, uh, increase, decreased from 10.5% to 4.1%. So this is what again, and what is unmet need again? A percentage of currently married women who either want spacing or limit their childbearing entirely, but not using any method. So we have to decrease our unmet needs so that more and more women are using contraceptive methods. So what is exactly we need? We want that we should delay the first child. There should be spacing in the third child and there should be 
no uh, there should be spacing, spacing in second child and there should be no third child and why there is so much increase in uh, population because there are too early pregnancy too many pregnancy too close pregnancy and the fourth point is very important that is too casual pregnancy we don't think that this particular act of this day is going to uh, lead to be a um, pregnancy and we have to be very 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 um, 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 uh, concerned about the family planning method or the contraception so why contraception because 36 years ka itna lamba jo hamara reproductive age hai usme se 30 years mein ek woman ko required hoti hai for contraceptive uh, use 30% of pregnancies are unintended half of the unintended pregnancy result from inconsistent or incorrect contraceptive use 14% of births are unwanted so this i have already told that three times more risk in child mortality and then we have to know what is an ideal contraceptive it is a safe effective acceptable reversible inexpensive long lasting and requires little or no medical supervision and then one thing is very important that we have to know about the effectiveness of the contraceptive like condom it has got a very less effectiveness of contra, um, as far as contraception is concerned so how we measure a contra effectiveness it is measured by the pregnancy per 100 women using the method per year so this is this shows so most important factor are implants iucd female sterilization and male sterilization now we all do know about the eligibility criteria of who these are the temporary methods permanent methods natural barrier oral contraceptives iucd injectables implants and emergency contraception we have to increase the uses of postpartum insertion of iucd by because most of the women they do not follow up after delivery following vaginal delivery and cesarean section it can be given it can be uh, give, uh, introduced very easily advantage are ease of insertion and convenient disadvantage is higher expulsion rate and appears to be safe and effective so we have to emphasize on postpartum iucd insertion implants are flexible small plastic rod implanted in upper arm contains uh, progesterone hormone and they are effective for 3 years and now and it is included in indian family planning program and in delhi if we talk four institutes have the availability of these subdermal implants that is subdarjan hospital all india institute arding and gtb under expert service provider again the why we should use male uh, involvement government has uh, given a very ready access to condom in different outlets of the family planning services and they can also use nsv as a permanent method because it is safe sound simple short stitchless and scalpel less so we have to motivate uh, the persons for vasectomy and communication is the most important part until unless we communicate with the patient about the uh, types of the uh, contraceptive methods available their safety their effectiveness their adverse effects their advantages their cost there is effectiveness we all have to discuss and this can be done by the gather approach which we um, do for communication and we have to nowadays the concept is of method specific counseling that a person should be told totally informed uh, consent has to be there that it includes um, uh, mechanism of action advantages disadvantages limitations side effects doses efficacy addressing concerns and required follow up so these all was when a doctor or the counselor must know so to end the make temporary birth control measures more attractive to young couples so that uh, they can use it for spacing encourage research on uh, contraceptive methods educate young couples on the benefits of postponing the birth of the first child and spacing the children and need to make all methods of family planning available in the age so i think this was in short in nutshell about the use of contraception for decreasing maternal mortality and improving women health so that was that very nice and really you focus on a very important and a sensitive aspect of the women's health and uh, that really spans around 40 years of her life so next i would invite dr ila gupta